Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by the Video Testimonial Service. I'm Bob Lederer. In the typical client market research department, its tasks are expansive enough and all the demands on business for more information and more immediate information is only making the research task more diffuse and difficult. And the volume of client market research that is being done because of explosions in hundreds of markets around the world has turned those areas into war zones and a battle for market share. The Wall Street Journal's Sabira Chadhuri authored a story last week whose primary point is that the world's biggest brands, as she said, are under siege from an army of insurgents. Now, the story made Unilever, the global marketer, the focus of this piece. And of course, Unilever is one of the world's most aggressive marketers as well as utilizers of market research. So what's actually going on as a result of these local battles? Chad Hori zeroed in on the multifaceted beauty and personal care category as well as the diverse ice cream marketplace to demonstrate the impact that Unilever is feeling and its necessity to respond to what is going on around the world in market by market situations. According to Chad Hori, Unilever's task encompasses 190 countries, many of them so-called emerging markets, and that happens to be where most Unilever revenue comes from. The local insurgents referred to, of course, are the local marketers, which Unilever has now responded to with a new global spanning reorganization that is designed to provide responses to those local attacks geographic market by geographic market. Unilever's focus isn't solely on marketers, indeed it's also on shoppers, who Chadhuri notes, quote, have gravitated in droves towards smaller, niche, or locally made products. And as a result, those local marketers are threatening a business model, she said, that has served Unilever and its investors well for decades. Now, one of Unilever's actions has been to try to acquire, and it has done so, local troublemaking marketers. And these have included companies who have been manufacturing organic packaged foods, toners and moisturizers, makeup, and herbal tea. Unilever has acquiesced to its local marketers to handle the local research and in, as a result they are conducting pricing studies, blind taste as well as smell and texture tests, the impact of free samples on business category influentials among many, many different research tasks. Chad Hurry noted that an occasional choice by a local Unilever operation to skip market research in order to produce a speedy product launch has been known to misfire. Unilever has had to recognize that in recent times it has not always kept pace with its localized challenges, but in 2017, the story says it increased the number of products for local markets by 50%. Something had to give, so Unilever did scale back its global launches. We're linking to this very different type of research story, one that is truly global, and invite you to examine it for yourself. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored today and this week by our video testimonial service, which brings to life any one of your clients' great product experiences with your products and or services. And the process that we follow on your behalf is very simple. You simply introduce us to a customer whose problem you have solved, and then we'll do a video interview with them. And from that conversation, we will create multiple testimonial vignettes, each of which extol the quality, the reliability, the thoughtfulness, and other things that they really like about your work. Your testimonial, if it's placed strategically on your website, has been shown to elevate interest and image for your company, particularly to unfamiliar potential users of your services. And our price tag, $3,000, truly cannot be matched in terms of cost and value add because of what we bring to the process from our 25 years of research industry experience. So check out the video testimonial uh, icon on our corporate website 
which is rflonline.com. And you can also see for yourself what we did for one customer already, KL Communications, which has posted its video testimonial on its corporate homepage. And we've linked to that in the description box under the video. Here's my email address and my phone number, and let's have a conversation about how we can help you. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.